I was four years here indoors and maybe I'd go out once a week to the shops, but my main priority was to be here with John and to look after him, and I did that willingly. But it did have an impact because I was isolated and I'm only just learning now to go back out and do things that I did before John got ill. Often people who may have been in hospital or may have been carers looking after people in their own homes might feel removed from the community so we can support them to get back into those activities. Nikki used to come in and you know she was there as much for us as she was for John. I mean in the early stages when John was capable of answering questions and you know communicating then obviously Nikki's time was with John. As time went on and John got worse, Nicky would come in and see John and uh, then would come and speak to us. If I wanted anything, I could always phone up and there's always an emergency team that would come out. I think I really had the best out of the um, service. I really did. Families always want to look after the person for as long as they can within their own circumstances. So it's enabling people to do that rather than feel that they're constrained or told what to do. Okay. Seek help. If it's out there and it's offered to you, take it. You need support there and it's no good leaving it to the last minute because they're going to be strangers that are coming to your house. It takes time to build up a relationship with the workers that come in. I suppose I feel quite privileged to work in this area, to work with people who allow me into their homes. It's their home, I don't have to be there. They can tell me to go at any time. And to be able to see people and for them to talk to me a little bit about their lives and sometimes go through some of the difficult things which are quite hard to manage if somebody's unwell, but sometimes going through the difficult things with people can enable that relationship to develop. <laughs> At first, you, you, you're not going to open up, but when you do build up that confidence, do open up, because I tell you something, there's nothing worse than keeping everything inside. It doesn't do any good to you, and it doesn't do any good for the person that you're looking after. You, you've got to be absolutely truthful, and, and they're not shocked at anything you're going to say. They've heard it all. They know every emotion that you're going to go through because they've seen it all and heard it all. And, and, and you can trust them. You must trust them.